Um, Peggy. Here we are. Peggy, do you want to do it? Yeah. Said, yeah. I want to. Do you want to do it? Did you want yeah. to do it? Yeah. So. Sure. We're going to do it. What we're doing is talking about or answering questions, Q&A, a Q&A, &A, mm. our Q&A about K-pop concerts and fan meetings. Because people have been like, what do you bring and what should I, and a bunch of stuff, so we're going to answer everything. Yeah. And we never wanted, the reason we didn't before is because we don't want to be like, so we know everything about yeah, everything. Yeah, we don't, we don't think we're experts, we just get and asked a bunch of times. Yeah, but because we some, well. some of our friends haven't been to concerts before. Right. So this and is so not, might as well share. it's not word, sweet guys word is bond. Right. You have to listen to what we say. We're not telling you rules, no, just no. things from our experience, it's I guess. It's more of an opinion. It's and if you opinion. don't, not... If you don't want to follow them or listen, you don't yeah. have to. You don't even have to watch this video. No. So, there it is, okay? So we're gonna read some questions and answer the questions. Jenny Slate. Tips on having a respectable but memorable high touch slash photo op experience. Okay, we've actually talked about this before. Yeah. With the person who asked. There's our friend who asked, Evelyn. If you want to be memorable for high touch, I'll say high touch and you can say photo op. Sure. Because like a good thing happened for photo op <laughs> that one time. Um, you know, we've had, no, I can't say anything's bad happened. Only one thing bad thing has happened to her in a photo. Bad things you. can Only happen. Only one th bad thing. But in high touch, we would say since uh, staff is not that nice usually, mm -hmm. and so many people have high touch, like a lot more people than have photo op if that's available. Mm -hmm. uh, for high touch, try to pick. This is gonna sound mean, but yeah. we if. If you have a favorite member, try to pick a, like a person to like say a specific thing to or like do a thing to because the other ones, it's like a good game. High five, high five, high five, high five. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to get a lot out. Right. So if you try to plan like you're the best at this and I love you at this and then this and this and this, you're not going to be able to get it out. And before you know it, you'll be you'll be at the end of the thing crying because right. you only you didn't get to say hi to everyone and you'll feel bad that you missed someone. If you're lucky, you'll have enough time to like have a moment with each person, but that doesn't, doesn't ha happen. that happens way less often than we would want so pick try to have pick something in mind a, a guy or girl and say something to right. them where maybe wear something that stands out put something sparkly on your head have a sign with their face on it make it like clear. try to like pinpoint a person or a, say a thing um, you could say some people do to say, something, say something to everyone yeah but it goes so fast that you won't really get a response for photo op um it's really difficult because depending on how many people are in the picture you might you could be put on the floor and not talk to anybody and that happens sometimes just to some people on this channel yeah, but then good and, things happen later but then at other times you could be at a certain right order and then you get a chance to interact with whoever's around mm -hmm. you unfortunately for photo op most of the time you only get a chance to talk to who's directly next to you or around you in the picture so you don't really and get standing to versus that. chairs which we've only done standing once which is weird true yeah, chairs, you you go and they sit you down in front of someone, and so then you have, like, half a second, depending on what order you got sat down in, to turn around and say something. Um, I, but you can't really plan who you're next to, because you don't know what order you're going to end up being there. So mm -hmm. you can't say, I'm going to be in front of this person, and I'm going to say this, because you could end up on the opposite end, and not even near them. Um, but if you say something, like, quickly, or, like, make a joke, or, like, say tell them you love them, or something about something they've done, like, whatever then you can get, have a chance to have that moment or mm -hmm. pick a pose, whatever that, just if you want to do that. Because like, if you pick a general one, you can do that with whoever's behind you. Exactly, yeah. If you decide you want to do a pose or something, then whoever's whoever's near you, you can say that too. Um, they have two hands, but they'll do it. Yeah, and they're usually, I mean, anytime the groups that we've gotten photo op for or I've met, like, they always want to be interacting with all, with the fans and they want to be saying something to every person so it's just a matter of like just doing it because mm -hmm. it's not like if you there's been times where it's like you choke up and you're like I'm not gonna say anything because I'm nervous and then they don't say anything but it's because they don't want to like make you uncomfortable or something so if you say something to them they'll always say something back and after if you don't you'll regret it and be like I should have said this and I should have right. done this so. and we've had times where it's like should have I, it's, you think of it afterward and you're like fuck ish, that's what I should have done and what I should have said but just try to realize that it's like if you're in that moment just say whatever it is you're gonna say or turn around and just have something come out doesn't even matter like you're just in that but moment you can say fuck to someone 
you could and they might yell yo <laughs> it's very unpredictable both of them really it honestly it's a roll of the dice it it has to do with the staff of the place too and mm -hmm. the staff of the group because they'll either let you take your time and do the thing or they'll rush you by rush by monster x they'll rush you through like there's no tomorrow because there's so many people that have to do it yeah but so there's a good chance even if you plan everything take, take your moment it could get screwed over take your moment and roll with it yeah just do as much as you can with the little time that you have because mm -hmm. there's no reason not to. Do's and don'ts at a concert. What should we bring? That, I feel like, is kind of subjective in certain times. Like, I have one. I have a specific one. What? Um, we understand people like to make signs, but if you are in the very front row, why are you holding up a sign that's 15 feet by 15 feet? Like, come on. If you're, like, in front of so many people, it's not the nicest thing to do. But for... Your personal items, we found it's always easier to have less stuff yeah. just because you don't want to have a whole backpack. But if you have a whole backpack of things you need, then you know what? Bring it. 100% of the places we've gone, they don't let you bring food or drinks in. So if you yeah. want to bring like a water bottle, water bottle, you can't. Yeah. So sometimes if we, if you know you have like a photo op or high touch or something, we personally always tried to bring like a powder or a mint or something because you know by the end of the concert you're going to be so sweaty. Um, and so if you want, to, if you have that happening mm -hmm. and you want to do that, that's fine. You can also bring nothing if you wanted to, yeah. if you want to just, just not have any worries. Because mm -hmm. sometimes if you have a bag and it's like heavy and you want to put it down somewhere and then you're worried about it and then you don't know if it's going to be somewhere or like a jacket that you're and like, And going ah. through security if you have a, G if you have a GA ticket, mm -hmm. going through security with, Always with a bag, uh, you take 10 times longer than everyone else. It takes like 17 minutes. Mm -hmm. Do be respectful of mm -hmm. the people around you. Don't yeah. be an asshole of the, like, of the people around to the people around you. You're excited to be there and other fans are excited to be there too so no one wants mm -hmm. to have their memory ruined by someone's elbow in their throat for no reason or like you don't want to get in a fight with someone because that makes the fans look bad too. Why push when you can just get a nice view of all the hot on the stage? Right. So. You don't need to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. For GA concerts if you want to be close do uh, line up early. Yeah. Uh, because people will be there way earlier than you think they will. Mm -hmm. So if you want that up close at to the stage seat spot, uh, you're going to need to get there very early. Yeah. So you're going to have to prepare yeah. a lot. Do you prefer GA or like assigned seating? Um, honestly, the times that we've been in an assigned seat. I like seating better for a fan meeting. Yes. I like GA better for a concert. Yeah. Definitely. Because for fan meetings, it's like everyone's joking around and you can stand up and like have fun and you have your own personal space and we definitely like that. And you can take a break. Right. And everyone's like, there's no, if you're adjusting, there's no, someone's not s trying to wedge their way around you and like, and you know, also, to deal with that. Also, if the venue lets you, the whole front section will run to the stage. Right. It becomes GA anyway. Yeah. But for concerts, it's definitely like having that whole energy of everyone being up in a group hmm. is definitely better that's just what we prefer obviously some you know your own it doesn't mean you're good or bad depending on where you want to be sitting what's the best thing you could wear to stay comfortable when going to a concert personally if you want wear uh if you're a short person wear heels or a shoe to make you taller yeah. if you want uh some people don't like to if they wait overnight or if they're waiting for a long a long period of time because then you go and you're like my feet have been hurting all day mm -hmm. um you can really wear whatever you want. Right. You can dress up. You can wear a wedding dress if you want. You can wear a tuxedo <laughs> wear a if you want. Full mascot costume. Um, nothing is more comfortable than anything else. Like I'd wear sweatpants to a concert. Right. Um, I prefer something that's um, a bit breezy in the top half, just for personal experience, because it's like you get really sweaty, and I don't like that to be like feel like you're suffocating. Mm. But also, if you have in a certain outfit that you want to wear, and you feel like stunting, go for it. Like that's fine. But. I feel like when it gets really hot inside a concert, especially if it's GA, so keep that in mind if you're looking for comfort purposes. You can wear pants in the summer, though. Yeah, 100%. So. Definitely, though, just a note would be probably closed toe shoes if you're in GA, just for safety. Because um, <laughs> you don't want to get squashed and stepped on. If that you sucks. only own flip flops, put a trash bag over them. Right. <laughs> put tiny little bags. The best way to move close to the front if you're super short. Your girl's like five feet, and I'm just hoping I can see the stage at all. Relatable. Uh, I'm super short, uh, but we don't like moving closer to the stage because everyone pushes. Mm -hmm. um, if you're short and there's GA, but there's a section at the back, stand at the back because you won't get crushed and you can see everything. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to move closer to the front, uh, maybe try to do it on a side and not in the middle because no one will move. Right. Um, shoes, again, will help if you're short. 
The best um, thing would be, if you want to be up front with nothing blocking your view, then you probably would just have to wait mm -hmm. for a long time to be up there. Because then if if you show up, like, last minute and want and expect to be able to weave your way up to the front, that's just not going to happen. No, it's definitely true. That's not going to happen. You just have to do the work or stand on a stair, wear a shoe, like Lana said. Be in an area where it's kind of open or something so you can actually see over people. But, but if you plop yourself in the middle of GA and it's... You're for the fourth row back. You're not gonna be able to get to the front. How to deal with rude people at the concert? For example, people who would hit others or block the view on purpose. What would you do? I almost got in a fight at a concert once. It wasn't a K-pop concert, but uh, people don't care if they when they don't know you. Yeah, they're rude no matter what because they want to be the closest ones and they need to get their shot and they want to be the one that's seeing all the stuff in the best view. Mm. Um, so rude people. Uh, Walk away from them or just ignore them and do your own thing because you're here to see the K-pop concert. If you're in that situation and someone's trying to do that and doesn't care about who's around them, then you're just, annoyingly, you're just going to have to find your own way around it because you're not going to be able to talk it out with them or get them to, to understand that what they're doing is stupid. So don't waste your time trying to fight with someone or something mm -hmm. like, because... The, the concerts are only like two hours long generally, so... And it will ruin your time. Right. And you're going to miss stuff that happens on stage. And so if you can get around someone or like get in a spot where you can see. If it's mid concert, you, walk away. Right. Because you'll be like, you'll fight for 10 minutes and then you just missed the best song. Yeah. If you're not going to be able to breathe and it's going to be an argument, then just fucking go stand somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Take it in. How do you stay calm enough to do a high touch? <laughs> I'm doing 17 high touch and high key freaking out. Okay. One good luck. Yeah. That we're actually not, I'm very nervous about the 17 high touch because we feel like it's going to be so fast and there's so, there's many, so of many of them that it's going to be probably the most complicated or confusing one that we've ever mm -hmm. been to. You I feel like you just kind of have to realize that like this is it's what's happening, so you don't have time to freak it goes, out. It goes it goes too fast to like be like no thanks like right. You just, you just kind of have to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, and also just think of them as just another person because that's all they are. Mm -hmm. So and they're excited to meet skin. fans. Like, yeah. yeah, when when seeing people face to face is very, um, it's like, whoa, okay. Yeah. But they're always excited to meet fans, and they want to be meeting you and seeing you, so it's not like you're, you're going to make them feel weird. This is the setting, where to be mm -hmm. face to face with them, so just like... Take a, take a deep breath, and then go. Just, just do it. Do it. And try to make eye contact with everyone. Yeah. Don't get nervous and look down, and then you miss half the members mm -hmm. or all of the members. Just... Smile at them all. We know no they look, they're unreal, and it's not even going to yeah. be funny, but just to try to do it. Yeah. You might crystallize when DK looks into your eyes, but <laughs> that's, to, that's to be expected. Like, wait to freak out until after the fact. Yeah. To be like, what yeah. even just went on? Yeah. But when you're in there, hey, what's up? Hi. You're nobody. Who cares? Yes. Hello. Just DK. Sure. This do is what's happening. Know and mm -hmm. Not sure. <laughs> How to non awkwardly converse with people at the concert asking for a friend for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> like, if you're talking about meeting friends, at a concert like we are then don't feel awkward at all and everyone's just gonna hug each other immediately mm -hmm. one we're all there for the same thing and it's the, it's the k-pops um but like fans are not like openly rude we have found they're like if you start talking to someone that's in front of you in line they'll 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 talk back and then if you're waiting in line with them you became you become friends with them right if you need to like borrow something in line if you need to do this like people will talk to you no one's gonna be like i don't know you so don't talk to me and if right. they do that's on them there's always been like a random like sense of friendship when we go to these things because most for most people and we know from talking to you guys in our in our own lives we're usually like one of very few people who are into this in our own daily life so when we're at these things and you're surrounded by people who have the same feelings as you and freak out about the same stuff as you it's very easy to connect with people mm. like to be like oh my god like remember one time we came out of got seven and we started screaming with a girl we had never seen before and we started running down exactly what happened in our individual high it's touches really, and photo really ops. sweet community like everyone's just so excited and mm -hmm. it brings everyone together like that and if you're at a concert alone like be like being excited and like singing the songs and doing all that stuff is like an immediate way to connect with people and it'll be like yes and no one's gonna judge you we're all there for the same thing great you know the words sing them dances dance them how to resist the urge to record every single thing at a concert put your phone in your pocket <laughs> Just because so. it's way cooler and much better and a greater experience if you are like after you leave you're like wow I saw them 
in person and I was watching them doing everything in person as opposed to behind your phone screen and it's like other people will be recording at the same time believe me the the shot you are sad you missed someone else got mm -hmm. so you don't have to be like upset that you didn't record this one moment because 50,000 people are recording it in the past we kind of by the time like we haven't really done it when we gone to k-pop concerts but past concerts we've s spent time trying to take pictures of it and then you go through the album and it's all most of it's blurry this is trash like unless you have like a really good camera and that's like what you do then it's gonna end up being blurry and you won't really look through them all, all and the time unless you uh sneak one in not every place let you bring in a super nice like dslr camera so mm -hmm. phone quality go for it if you want but it's right. way more fun watching them right. actually doing it being like this to see them instead of it's trying real. to Hit the focus on your screen to make it like an HD picture. You're missing what you're act what's yeah. actually happening. And then you try right to focus there. on one specific thing, and then someone's doing a thing right there, mm -hmm. and it's like you, they could have been talking to you, and you wouldn't have known. What mindset should I go in with when attending a concert? Woo! Just fucking amped. yeah, amp to Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Not nervous about anything. No, because there's nothing to be nervous about. There's literally no reason. Like Every, just we're excited. all there to have fun and to get weird. How do you guys restrain yourself from getting overexcited at seeing your bias? Honestly, I need to know this so bad. You don't have to. Uh, <laughs> so you can be overexcited. Everyone's gonna, everyone will be yelling. So yeah. you don't have to be like, I'm getting too excited. The situations like are always it. really loud. Yeah. But, um, like, there's, I feel like there's a fine line between, like, playing it cool and then like you can be excited because they know that you're a fan of them and that's mm -hmm. why you're there so you can like be like visibly excited to see them and be They'll love like, that. loud that some of them funny. don't even think they have fans right just to proclaim your love it's fine and they'll be into it 100 percent. if you want to like it's kind of i feel like it kind of depends on the vibe of the situation like sometimes do it like if photo op or something if you're toward the end of the photo op line i feel like it seems like quieter mm -hmm. or something and like if that's the case and you don't want to be like screaming and stuff then like you can just be like a lot of the times they hello. they are excited and yelling true so just do yeah. it right back right don't really worry about how you're going to be interpreted because like just to be yourself as long as you're not like literally screaming in their face and like scaring people mm -hmm. then it's it's all good there's no reason to not be excited they would love for everyone to be excited because that's why they came what's your advice with rude staff eg how did you guys personally get through them without getting riled up what should we not do mm -hmm. a lot of the staff are like are like that's their, that their really job important. is to be rude and uh that's gross yeah but they're gonna push you through stuff and tell you to go faster and yell at you um but you just have to like be in your own mind and be like yep got it got it just mm -hmm. ignore them brush them off and then do whatever you were doing don't exactly. even pay attention to them if they touch you be like halt who goes there yeah don't touch me because it's sort of like like rude people at a concert that it's like you remember why you're there and so don't even engage because it's like they sometimes... there's also a difference between a uh, concert staff and staff with the k-pop group right sometimes the, con the uh venue staff is meaner than the uh, k-pop groups mm -hmm. staff because if the ven if someone's the venue staff and they're rude they literally don't give a shit that it's a k-pop concert that these people came and from across not the world everyone, it's another friday not everyone has uh not every concert they cover has high touch and photo op right so, so they're they like we'll be stern and then but the k-pop staff is like we see this every day we always do this mm -hmm. so they'll be sometimes nicer sometimes let's go let's go let's go and then they'll get staff from the venue to push you through and it's right. like they're gonna be rude but you just have to be like i don't care because that's my man's yeah, or my woman's so overall it's only gonna be a short thing of like two to three hours of you having fun so go in and do your own thing have fun just think of it as right after this unless you know they're doing a second day right after this this is I, it's done as they're going to somewhere else so i'm gonna have fun while i can mm -hmm. uh they do sell I, we didn't say this but inside venues they do sell like uh i think food but they definitely sell like drinks and stuff so like stay hydrated if you can mm -hmm. uh wear whatever you want don't think anyone else is gonna anyone's gonna judge you because you can wear whatever you want you can say what you want you can dance and sing however you want so just have fun because that's mm -hmm. why they come is for people to see them and have fun while they see them and even with anything that we've experienced or sharing with you from our experiences anytime you go to an event it's going to be different there's going to be different mm -hmm. people around it's going to be a different place a different group whatever so there's really no way to have it all set even if you have a whole thing written down top to bottom it's probably not going to go exactly as planned so just like roll with the punches and don't be nervous like just just go for 
go for it in any mm -hmm. situation. What we say is not how what you have to follow. Right. Um, we were just answering questions that we were given. It really is just supposed to be a place to have fun. So yeah. if you go and you didn't have fun, then you didn't succeed. Yeah. That's the only way to go wrong, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is if they you leave there crying. Yeah. If you leave there crying for a good reason, you did it. Killed it. Bye.